Hi everyone! Today we're going to study equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables. In this video, we shall discuss the solution of such pairs of equations, which are not linear, but can be reduced to linear form by making some suitable substitutions. We now explain this process through some examples. Example 1. Solve the pair of equations. 2 over x plus 3 over y equals 13. 5 over x minus 4 over y equals negative 2. First step here is to factor out the numerator respectively. In the first equation, we have 2 times 1 over x plus 3 times 1 over y. Second equation, 5 times 1 over x minus 4 times 1 over y. Then we let p equals 1 over x and q equals 1 over y. The equations becomes like this. 2p plus 3q equals 13. 5p minus 4q equals negative 2. Then let us solve using any method, the p and the q respectively. Let us solve this by elimination. We copy our equations in here. Now, let us eliminate q. In our process, we multiply the first equation by the coefficient of q in the second equation, and vice versa. So, it becomes like this. First equation times 4, second equation times 3. The first equation becomes 8p plus 12q equals 52. Second equation becomes 15p minus 12q equals negative 6. Now, let us add. We can see here that the q variables has coefficients that are opposite signs. When we add now, the q variable is cancelled out. Then 8p plus 15p equals 23p equals 52 plus negative 6 is positive 46. From here, let us divide by 23, and the p-value is 2. Now we substitute this p-value to any of the equations. Let's say in the first equation, this 2p plus 3q equals 13 becomes 2 times 2 plus 3q equals 13. This 2 times 2 becomes 4 plus 3q equals 13. This 4 we transpose to the right. So we have like this, and the right side becomes 9. Now let's divide by 3. We will get the value of q as 3. We have now the values of p and q coming from these equations. But our original problem is here. Remember that we set p equals 1 over x and q equals 1 over y. Let us now solve for x and y respectively. Let's begin with p equals 1 over x. We substitute the value of p here, then we will solve for x. p is 2, so we have 2 equals 1 over x. When we cross multiply, the value of x is 1 half. Then let us solve for y. We have here q equals 1 over y. We substitute the value of u here as 3. So we have now 3 equals 1 over y. When we cross multiply, the value of y is 1 third. If we want to know if the answers are correct, we can substitute the x and y values in the original pair of equations. Then we will see that these two equations are satisfied. 
Example 2. Solve the pair of equations 5 over x minus 1 plus 1 over y minus 2 equals 2. Second equation, 6 over x minus 1 minus 3 over y minus 2 equals 1. We factor out the numerator respectively. The first equation becomes 5 times 1 over x minus 1 plus no change in the fraction with y variable equals 2. Second equation, 6 times 1 over x minus 1 minus 3 times the fraction 1 over y minus 2 equals 1. Then we let p equals 1 over x minus 1 and q equals 1 over y minus 2. The two equations becomes 5p plus q equals 2. Second equation, 6p minus 3q equals 1. So this is first equation, second equation. We will now solve using any method. Let's say we solve by substitution. From equation 1, we have q equals 2 minus 5p. Let this be equation 3. Then we substitute this q value to equation 2. Equation 2 is 6p minus 3q equals 1. So it becomes 6p minus 3 times the quantity 2 minus 5p equals 1. Simplifying the left side, it becomes 6p minus 6 plus 15p. From here, we can combine the 6p and the positive 15p. This negative 6, we will transpose to the right. So it becomes 21p on the left equals 1 plus 6. And the right side becomes 7. Now let us divide by 21 and simplify. We will get the value of p as 1 third. Next, we substitute this p value to equation 3. This is our equation 3. q equals 2 minus 5p. It becomes q equals 2 minus 5 times 1 third. We multiply 5 by 1 third. We have 2 minus 5 over 3. We can show that this 2 as a whole number can be written as a fraction with same denominator. So the value of 2 becomes 6 over 3. So we can now subtract the two fractions. 6 minus 5 is 1 all over 3. The value of q is 1 third. We are able to get the values of p and q respectively. But we need the values of x and y. In the beginning, we said that p equals 1 over x minus 1 and q equals 1 over y minus 2. We can now solve for x and y respectively using the values of p and q. Let's begin with this p equals 1 over x minus 1. When we substitute the value of p as 1 third, it becomes like this. 1 third equals 1 over x minus 1. When we cross multiply, it becomes x minus 1 equals 3. Then this negative 1, we transpose to the right. It combines with a positive 3 on the right. So we have x equals 4. Then let us solve for y. q equals 1 over y minus 2. We substitute the value of q in here. It becomes 1 third equals 1 over y minus 2. When we cross multiply, y minus 2 equals 3. Then this negative 2, we transpose to the right to be combined with positive 3. Value of y equals 5. So the values for x and y are 4 and 5 respectively. If we want to check if these answers are correct, we substitute these values in our original equations. And we will see that these are satisfied. 
Example 3. A boat goes 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream. Determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. We let x equals the speed of boat in still water. We let y be the speed of the stream. Also, the x plus y is the speed of the boat downstream, while x minus y is the speed of the boat upstream. Also, remember that time equals distance over speed. If we analyze our problem here, this is a combination of upstream and downstream with respect to time. In the first condition, 10 hours. Second condition, 13 hours. Now, for the first condition, we have this T sub 1 or time 1 plus T sub 2 or time 2 equals the total 10 hours. So we write 30 over x minus y. This is 40 upstream plus 44 over x plus y. This is downstream equals 10. Condition 2. 40 over x minus y. This is upstream plus 55 over x plus y. This is the time for downstream equals total of 13 hours. Next step, we're going to factor out the numerators. The first equation becomes 30 times 1 over x minus y plus 44 times 1 over x plus y equals 10. Second equation, 40 times 1 over x minus y plus 55 times 1 over x plus y equals 13. Then we let u equals 1 over x minus y and v equals 1 over x plus y. Thus, the first equation becomes 30u plus 44v equals 10. Second equation, 40u plus 55v equals 13. And from here, we can solve using any method. In this case, we can use the cross multiplication method. If that is the case, we're going to rearrange the equations again. The right side must be zero, respectively. So the two equations becomes like this. Then we will use our formula and we will substitute the corresponding values. So it becomes like this. U over 44 times negative 13 minus the product 55 times negative 10 equals the V over 40 times negative 10 minus the product 30 times negative 13 equals 1 all over 30 times 55 minus 44 times 40. When we simplify the corresponding denominators, it becomes u over negative 22 equals v over negative 10 equals 1 over negative 110. When we solve for u, we equate this fraction by the last fraction. We will get u equals 1 over 5. For v, we equate this fraction by the last fraction. The value of v equals 1 over 11. But still, we need the values of x and y. In the beginning, we said that u equals 1 over x minus y and v equals 1 over x plus y. Let us substitute the value of u in this equation. So we have 1 over 5 equals 1 over x minus y. When we do cross multiplication here, we will get x minus y equals 5. Now, for the v, we will use this equation. 
we substitute the value of v in here. So we have 1 over 11 equals 1 over x plus y. When we cross multiply, we will get x plus y equals 11. We have here now two equations with variables x and y respectively. Let us now solve the x and y. Suppose we solve by elimination. We can see that the coefficients of variable y are same but opposite sign. In this case, we can add these two equations. When we do that, y variable will be cancelled. And then x plus x will be 2x equals 5 plus 11 is 16. When we divide this by 2, x equals 8. Now, let us solve for y. We can observe that the variable x here have same coefficients with same signs. So, we can solve by elimination and we will subtract. x minus x will be cancelled out. This negative y minus y is negative 2y. 5 minus 11 is negative 6. When we divide this equation by negative 2, y equals 3. So we have now the values of x equals 8 and y equals 3. But for the unit of measurement, remember that both the x and y are speed of the boat and the stream respectively. So this 8 will be kilometers per hour, also for the 3 kilometers per hour.